Principles of Personal Transformation by Wingmakers Wingmakers, Transformation Each individual on Earth is exploring in a physical body new ways of experiencing life. Through this process of discovery, each of us is developing a deeper level of understanding of life, and a greater ability to express our divine essence. This divine essence is the fullest expression of each individual's soul, and most closely exemplifies the divine's capabilities therein. Divine essence is a level of divine awareness that was seated within each soul when it was initially conceived by the divine. It is also the natural state of the soul that has removed itself from the controlling aspects of hierarchical belief systems through the complete awakening of its sacred intentions. All souls are in various stages of transformation, and all are destined to attain a level of conscious awareness of divine essence as their sacred intentions are fully awakened. Profound personal transformation is initiated by the realization that you are capable of direct access to the Divine. This is the realization that the wisdom of the Divine can be discovered deep within your own soul. In other words, your body, complete with its physical, emotional, and mental capabilities, is not the repository of your sacred intentions. Nor is it able to reach out and access this divine inner calling which tirelessly beckons, inviting you towards the glorious joy of ever deeper connection with all that, is. It is the soul that, is the harbor of your divine essence. And it is the soul that, is the vehicle of access to the awakening of your sacred intentions, which opens the door to profound transformation through the integration of your body, mind, heart, and soul. Through opening to meaningful connection not only with your own divine essence, but with that of all living beings, the experience of profound personal transformation eventually triggers the realization that perceived reality is the divine personified in the form of individual preferences. Thus when your sacred intentions are fully awakened, divine reality, and your perception of reality become inseparable as the wind, and the air. This confluence is only completely realized through the full transformation experience, which is unlike anything known within human experience. There have been those upon earth who have ventured into the shallows of this unfathomable ocean. Some have called it ascension, others have attributed names like illumination, enlightenment, nirvana, and cosmic consciousness. While these experiences are profound by human standards, they are only the initial stirrings of divine essence as it becomes increasingly adept at touching, and awakening the remote edges of its existence. What most would define as the ultimate bliss is merely an impression of their divine essence whispering to its outposts of form, and nudging them to look within to the roots of existence, and to unite with the formless and limitless divine intelligence that pervades all. The full transformation experience is far beyond the scope of the human drama, much like the stars in the sky are beyond the touch of Earth. We can see the stars with our human eyes, but we will never touch them with our human hands. Similarly, we can dimly foresee the transformation experience but we cannot fully experience it as humans. It is accessed through the wholeness of the soul, for it is only in wholeness that the soul's sacred intentions, and their catalytic effect of divine perception can be fully experienced. This level of wholeness is attained only when the individual consciousness has separated from time, and is able to view its existence in timelessness. Nevertheless, the human experience is essential in facilitating personal transformation, and causing it to trigger, like a metamorphosis, the integration of your formful identities into divine essence. Self-mastery through personal transformation is the next stage of perception, and expression for your soul. 
It is initiated when you choose to design your life based upon principles that are symbolic of the divine. As you become increasingly responsive to the divine, you naturally gravitate towards life principles that symbolically express the formative principles of divine creation. The below principles are divine templates of creation. They are designed to help you experience life from the perspective of divine essence. They are principles that construct opportunities for the integration of your formless, and formful identities. They are bridges through which you can access the experience of wholeness by perceiving with your divine essence. There is a wide range of means that can facilitate self-mastery through personal transformation, and disengage the soul from external controls. Inasmuch as the means may vary, the intent behind the means is quite narrowly defined as the intent to expand into a state of integration whereby, all aspects of your conscious self become increasingly aligned with your divine essence. There are three particular life principles that help to align your perspective with the perspective of divine essence, and thus inspire profound transformation. They are 1. Seeing the divine in all. 2. Nurturance of life. 3. Gratitude. When you apply these principles, a deeper meaning will be revealed to the seemingly random events of your life experience, both in the personal, and universal contexts. Seeing the Divine in All This is the principle that the Divine is present, and can be seen everywhere, and in all manifestations of life. It is interwoven in all things like an intricate mosaic whose pieces adhere to the same wall and are thus unified. However, it is not the picture that unifies the mosaic, but the underlying wall upon which its pieces adhere. Similarly, the divine paints a picture so diverse, and seemingly unrelated that there appears to be no unification. Yet it is not the outward manifestations that unify. It is the inward center of divine energy upon which the pieces of diversity are layered that unifies all life. This centerpiece of divine energy is the collective storehouse of all life within the universe. It is the full expression of the divine, which invests itself in all forms through the projection of its divine intelligence into all manifestations of life. Thus, divine intelligence acting as an extension of the divine, is the unifying energy that, is the wall upon which all the pieces of life's mosaic adhere. Seeing the divine in all is the principle that all manifestations of life convey an expression of all that, is. It does not matter how far the unifying energy has been distorted, or corrupted, the divine can be observed. It is the action of perceiving the unification of energy even when the outward manifestations appear random, distorted, or chaotic. It is the realization that all life flows from one divine energy source that links one to all, and all to one. When every manifestation of life can be genuinely perceived as a fragmentary expression of all that, is. The vibration of equality that underlies all life becomes perceptible to you. You realize that life initially emerges as an extension of the divine, and then, as an individuated energy frequency invested within a form. This individuated energy vibrates, in its pure, timeless state, precisely the same for all manifestations of life. This is the common ground that all life shares. This is the tone, or vibration of equality that can be observed within all life forms that unifies all expressions of diversity to the very foundation of existence. If you are able to look upon any, and all forms of life with the outlook of equality, then you are seeing the divine in all. While this may seem like an abstract concept, it is actualized through the practice of looking for both the outward, and inward manifestations of the divine. In a very real sense, 
you expect to observe the workings of divine intelligence in every facet of your experience. The principle of seeing the divine in all is the unassailable expectation that everything is in its rightful position, performing its rightful function, and serving its purpose to activate the fullest expression of its life in the present moment. It is the outlook that all life is in a state of optimal realization, and experience regardless of condition, or circumstance. It is the perception that life is perfect in its expression because it flows from perfection, and that no matter how divergent its manifestations are, all life is an extension of the divine. In light of the obvious turmoil, and destruction that, are apparent on earth, this is an outlook, or perception that may seem naive. How can life, in all its forms, and expressions, be perceived as optimal, or perfect? This is the great paradox of life, and it cannot be reconciled with your mental or emotional capabilities. It can only be understood in the context of the soul, which is deathless, timeless, and limitless. Paradoxes exist, because the human drama is too limited in scope and scale to allow a perception of wholeness to illuminate how the pieces of the puzzle are perfectly interconnected in the ever unfolding divine cosmic dance. The human drama is circumscribed by the dimensions of time, and space, and the elements of energy, and matter. It is played out upon the stages of survival, and dysfunctional behavior, because of the methods of controlling information and manipulating conditions used by those operating within the hierarchical paradigm. The soul within the human body is largely unexpressed, and underutilized in this human drama, and therefore, life's apparent perversions, and imperfections are seen in isolation as impediments to perfection rather than perfection itself. Life is perfect in its resolve to expand and express an intelligence that, is limitless. This is the fundamental purpose of life in all its diverse manifestations. The presence of the divine expressing itself as a vibration of equality can be seen in all things. Sensory input derived from the human body is limited to frequencies in specific ranges that only convey an echo of this divine vibration. The divine resonance of all life is understood only through deliberate, and focused contemplation of the equality inherent in all things, and through the ability to penetrate beyond the image of a thing to the origin of the image. These insights stimulate a new sensory system beyond five senses that rule the physical world. These new senses are an outgrowth of the awakening of your sacred intentions. They are manifestations of the first stage of personal transformation. With this new perceptual ability, you will be capable of sensing not only the presence of the divine, but also the timeless divine essence within all life that is individualized and uniquely separate from the divine. Calling forth the divine perceptions of the soul within your own being is the ideal method to access lasting sensitivity to the divine vibration. This is how you develop the ability to see the divine in all. It is not only that the divine is found within you, and within every individual manifestation of life, it is also in itself the wholeness of all life. Thus, this principle calls for seeing the divine in all its diverse forms of manifestation, as well as in the wholeness of life itself. Nurturance of Life Life, in this definition, is an individual's sovereign reality. It is subjective, and impressionable. Life is the wholeness of experience flowing past the individual's field of perception in the present moment. There is never a closure to life, nor a final chapter written. It is eternal, not so much in the abstract sense of never ending, or beginning, but rather in the real sense that life is ever expanding in order to express divine intelligence in all realities within the universe.
Nurturance of life is the principle whereby an individual is in alignment with the natural expansion of intelligence inherent within all life. This alignment enhances the life energy that flows past the individual with the clear intent of gentle support. It is the action of opening to the highest motive in all people, and in all life, and supporting the flow of this highest intention towards its ultimate expression. In so doing, the action is performed without judgment, analysis, or attachment to outcome. It involves simply nurturing the highest energy that flows from all people, and all beings, and thus supporting the fullest expression of their deepest essence. This is a departure from the normal perception that nurturing support can only be granted when others are in alignment with your personal will, and desires. When, instead, you view everything in your life as an integrated energy flowing as an expression of ever-expanding divine intelligence, all life is honored as an extension of the divine. In this context, there is no energy that, is misdirected, or unworthy of support, and nurturance. While this may seem contrary to the evidence of abusive energy upon the earth, even energy that, is laden with evil intent is nevertheless energy that, is flowing outward in search of a higher expression. All people, and all forms of life can be nurtured, and supported to their highest expression. This is the fundamental purpose of this principle. It is greatly facilitated by the intention to perceive the original motive, and ultimate expression of life energy as it passes through your field of awareness. Energy is an element of life that, is so subtly interwoven with form that it is one, in much the same manner as space, and time are inextricably linked in union. Energy is a motive. It is intelligent beyond the mind's ability to reason. While it is a force that can be subject to applications that deny its highest expression, energy is always imbuing life with the motive to expand, and evolve. Life energy is always in a state of becoming. It is never static, or regressive in its natural state. You are very capable of nurturing this natural expansion of energy to forge new channels of expression, and experience. In fact, it is your primary purpose to expand the life energy that encircles your personal reality, and to transform it to new levels of expression that more clearly reflect the perspective of divine essence. There are many specific actions that can be taken to nurture life. Each soul has the innate ability to transform energy through a tremendous variety of means. Working through your body your soul is able to collect, and store energy, and redirect its purpose, or application. This transformation of energy can occur on both personal, and universal levels of expression. That, is, within an individual's field of awareness, energy can be transformed at any time to conform more to a vision of personal welfare, or aligned with a vision of universal welfare, and goodwill. One of the best methods to transform energy is through one's belief system. All beliefs have energy systems that act like birthing chambers, for the manifestation of your perceived reality. Within these energy systems are currents that direct life experience. Your soul is aware of these currents either consciously, or unconsciously and allows them to carry you into realms of experience that engage your core belief system. By cultivating beliefs that expand, and transform energy, you are more able to explore energy systems that, are nurturing to life in all its myriad forms. When your beliefs are clearly defined as intentions, as preferred states of being, your life energy engages more fully in the present moment. Your energy system becomes inseparable from your being, and woven into your spirit like a thread of light. Clarity of intention is essential to engaging the energy system of your core beliefs, and to allowing the nurturance of life to prevail in all activities. 
the nurturance of life is essential to both personal, and collective realities within the universe, which contains all realities that, are interlinked like threads of an infinitely expanding fabric. Thus, as you awaken to your own creative power to transform life energy outside of yourself, and enhance it with the clear intent of gentle support, you naturally experience ever unfolding transformation within yourself as well. You become an increasingly clear beacon of the divine, and the architect of a new paradigm based upon the intention to nurture all life in the universe. Gratitude This principle is based on the understanding that the universe represents a collective intelligence that can be personalized as a single universal soul, a composite expression of the divine. Thus, in this perspective, there are only two souls in the entire, cosmos, the individual soul, and the universal soul. Inasmuch as the individual is impressionable, and constantly changing to adapt to new information, so is the universal soul, which is a dynamic, living template of potential energies, and experiences that, are coherent, and as knowable as a friend's personality, and behavior. The universal soul is responsive to the individual soul, and its beliefs, and perceptions. It is like a composite omni-personality that, is imbued with divine intelligence, and responds to the perceptions, and belief systems of the individual like a pool of water mirrors the image that overshadows it. Everyone is indeed, at their innermost core a sovereign soul that can transform themselves into an instrument of divine essence. However, this transformation is dependent on whether the individual chooses to project an image of divine essence upon the mirror of the universal soul, or to project a lesser image that, is a distortion of its essential state of being. The principle of gratitude is primarily concerned with consciously designing your self-image through an appreciation of the universal soul's supportive mirror. In other words, the universal soul is a partner in shaping reality's expression in your life. If you choose to project a transformed image upon the mirror of the universal soul, reality gradually becomes an internal process of creation that, is increasingly free of external controls, and conditions. This process involves an interchange of supportive energy between the individual, and the universal soul. This energy is best applied through an appreciation of how perfect, and exacting this interchange occurs, in every moment of life. If you are aware, or at least interested in having the awareness, of how perfectly the divine, as expressed in the form of the universal soul, supports your sovereign reality, there is a powerful, and natural sense of gratitude that flows from you to the divine. It is this wellspring of gratitude that opens wide the channel of support from the divine to the individual, and establishes a collaboration of purpose to transform the individual soul into a pure expression of divine essence. It is principally gratitude, which arises naturally through appreciation of how the relationship between the individual, and the universal soul operates, that opens you to connection with your divine essence, and to your eventual transformation into the state of perception, and expression of divine essence. The relationship of the individual with the universal soul is essential to cultivate, and nurture, because this relationship, more than anything else, determines how accepting each individual is of life's myriad forms, and manifestations. When you accept changes in your sovereign reality as the shifting persona of the universal soul, you live in greater harmony with life itself. Life becomes an exchange of energy between you, and the universal soul that, is allowed to play out without judgment and is experienced without fear. This is the underlying meaning of unconditional love, to experience life in all its manifestations as a single, unified intelligence that responds perfectly to the projected image of each soul. 
It is for this reason that when you project gratitude, regardless of circumstance, or condition, life becomes increasingly supportive in opening you to further awakening your sacred intentions. This feeling of gratitude coupled with the mental concept of appreciation is expressed like an invisible message in all directions, and at all times. In this particular context, gratitude is the overarching motive behind all forms of expression to which humanity aspires. Every breath, every word, every touch, every thought is centered on expressing this sense of gratitude a gratitude that you are sovereign, and supported by a universal soul that expresses itself through all forms, and manifestations of life with the sole objective of creating the ideal reality to fully awaken your sacred intentions, and to transform your entire being into divine essence. It is this specific form of gratitude that accelerates the awakening of your sacred intentions, and their inherent ability to integrate your body, mind, heart, and soul, and to transform your ability to perceive, and express from the place of divine essence. Time is the primary factor that distorts the otherwise clear connection between the individual, and the divine. Time establishes separation of experience. This creates, doubt in the divine system of fairness, and overarching purpose. This doubt, in turn, creates fear that the universe is not a mirror, but rather a chaotic, whimsical energy. Time intervenes to create pockets of despair, hopelessness, and abandonment. However, it is these very pockets that often motivate awakening the sacred intentions of your soul, as they cause you to seek a more intimate, and harmonious relationship with the divine. When you choose to align with divine essence, and to live from this perspective as part of a never unfolding reality, you attract a natural state of harmony. This does not necessarily mean that your life is without problems, or discomforts, rather it signifies a perception that there is an integral purpose in what life reveals. In other words, Life experience is meaningful to the extent that you choose to live in natural harmony with the multidimensional aspects of divine essence. When your personal reality flows in alignment with divine essence, you create lasting joy, and inner peace. Gratitude is an essential facet of love that opens you to acknowledge the role of the universal soul and to redefine your purpose as a supportive extension of the divine, rather than the whimsical outreach of fate, or the exacting reaction of a mechanical, detached universe. Establishing a relationship with the universe through the outflow of gratitude attracts life experience that, is deeply transformative, experience that, is richly devoted to uncovering life's deepest meaning, and most formative purpose. The Emergence of Divine Essence Through the ongoing application of these principles of transformation, divine intelligence increasingly permeates your soul, and your soul becomes the identity of your entire being. Thus, identity is transformed, and in the wake of this transformation, divine essence unifies your entire being with your soul, and your soul with divine intelligence. It is this unification, and shift of identity that, is the explicit purpose of these life principles. If there is any other intention, or objective, these principles will remain misunderstood, and their catalytic powers will remain dormant. It is the perspective of divine essence that all life is pure love in its fullest expression, and that in this single concept, all life is conceived and forever exists. This becomes the core belief from which all other beliefs arise. And as these beliefs expand outward, this core belief system emerges with a clear intent of supporting a fundamental perspective of seeing, nurturing, and appreciating the universe as the divine cradle from which all life is created, and evolves. These principles of transformation are merely symbols represented in words, 
and serve to you as a potential recipe to stir awake the embers of light that tirelessly burn within. There are no specific techniques, or rituals that, are required to invoke their power. They are simply perspectives. In a real sense, they are sacred intentions that attract experience that expands consciousness. They do not provide quick fixes, or instant realizations. They are amplifiers of personal will, and intention that clarify how one lives. Their transformative power is contained exclusively in the intent of their application. Through these principles, you can become a master of empowering your deeper self. In the past, boundaries were set, secrets were kept, and your light was subdued simply, because your perception of external, hierarchical controls created in you fear of the unknown, and of the mystical practices of transformed souls. Now, if you choose to apply these life principles with clear intent, you have the tools to accelerate the emergence of divine essence. You can awaken the perspective, insights, and empowered abilities of your divine essence to create new realms of possibility, and shape them as learning adventures that liberate, and expand your consciousness. This is the underlying purpose of these principles and perhaps the best reason to explore them.